Hey y'all, I was in the mood to make a weekly vlog and just kind of keep y'all updated on what I've been doing. Mostly, I'm just focusing on self-care, taking really um, good care of my hair. Y'all know that I relaxed it about three weeks ago, keeping it moisturized, sealed, washed twice a week. Um, I did buy this Guide Beauty Eyeliner Applicator. It actually does work, I like it a lot, so I'll probably do a separate video on that, but I've just been focused on taking care of my skin. Um, I've been dealing with hyperpigmentation for a long time, as you guys know, so I just make sure that I keep it cleansed really well. I don't get acne that much, so that's not a big problem for me. But this is my wash routine. It's just using a green tea soap, a brightening serum for my hyperpigmentation that works really well, and just keeping my skin moisturized in general. I swear your body is just so much upkeep. It feels like a full-time job. So I'm blessed that I do have the time to do it. And of course, eating healthy. I do eat at 12, 4, and 8 p.m. That's the new routine that I'm on. Um, and these are just some of the you know things that I've been eating, keeping up with green tea twice a day to help lose weight. I do think that it's working. There's so much information surrounding weight loss, but at the end of the day, it's calories in, calories out. So I've just been having a protein shake for breakfast, yogurt and fruit for lunch, and something good for dinner, but just in a small portion. I'm serious about losing my muffin top. I stay on top of my chemical pills, which I do back to back once a month. If you are dealing with hyperpigmentation, this is the best thing for you. Um, so of course, you know, you see that I frosted there, but it works, nothing to be scared of and just trying to stay beautiful. Um, ever since I got my new cameras, I've been wanting to film videos that look a lot more cinematic and really fucking cool with the blurred background. And I've been spending a lot of time and money trying to learn how to do that. So let me show you the cameras that I have for now, other than my phone, which is what I mostly film all of my videos on. So I got my Sony ZV-1 um, not that long ago, maybe six months ago, if even that. Um, it's mostly known as a vlogging camera and I haven't been using it very much. I love it, but um, you know, it's been winter. I haven't been going out and filming much stuff in the winter except for my Vlogmas series, and I did use that. It's a really good camera, and like all cameras, you know, it's a bit pricey. I will be using this one when I just, you know, wanna go out and film some stuff around the city. I'm not gonna be using the camera that I just got, my Canon 90D. Well, here's the actual camera. I am loving this thing so much. I don't know what took me so long to get one. Well, obviously money, I guess, but I'm so happy that I have it. I have two different lens for it. This one's a 24 millimeter. This is the one that you really want if you want to fit your whole body um, into the frame. This is the second lens that I invested in and it's really affordable, 150 bucks. This one here is the first lens I got, the 50 millimeter. It does a really good job of making the background blurry, but if you want to fit your face and pretty much your whole body into it, you have to put it really, really far away from you. So this one I'm just gonna use for photography only. And this one will be, you know, if I wanna do any type of videos for YouTube and whatnot, I'm loving this so much. I've got it on a huge tripod that I actually need to replace, but I'm still learning how to use this thing. I mean, I've watched a million YouTube videos on how to operate this thing. And there's just so much to learn, but I'm so excited about it. I'm already very happy with um, making YouTube videos with it. I've been wanting to do that for so long instead of just using my phone all the time. Since I wanna make better videos, I've started investing in all the accessories that you need, like a lens hood, which you only need if you're shooting outside to help reduce the glare of the sun if it's in your way. And then of course, some lights that you can attach to your camera. This is a really bright light from Ulanzi. I already have like a ring light and some um, umbrella lamps with this bright white light and I hate it, it gives me a migraine. So I was happy when I came across this one from Loom Cube. it's only yellow lighting and I like that a lot. It's a lot softer and there's different, you know, ranges that you can choose from to adjust it. So these I will definitely be attaching um, to my cameras, especially as you know, in my house, I do not get a lot of light other than my bedroom. So this is just kind of the stuff I have for now. I don't know if I showed y'all, I think I talked about it on Instagram, but I also have them sitting on some boards that I got from Replica Surfaces. This is a white one a nice beautiful marble looking one and this one's a very cute linen colored one 
um, I decided to grab three of those. Those are going to be for any type of product photography that I want to do inside the house. So it just makes for a really nice background. I also have this reflector that I got a few weeks ago off of Amazon. It's got five different colors. It's gold, white, black, clear, and um, what is it? Silver. I haven't used it yet. I haven't had an occasion to use it, but just in case I went ahead and grabbed it. So this is just the beginning. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I would love to put out content several times a week or every day, but I'm just going to take the time to learn, you know, some cinematography tricks um, and hopefully be able to incorporate that into the videos that I want to make. It's the beginning of the month and I know a lot of people are feeling pressure to kind of start their year off right out of the gate being successful and, you know, implementing all these plans and, you know, that they have for themselves and things that they want to do. And I felt that way too in January, but I feel like I'm just going to take my time. There's things that I want to learn how to do and I want to do them right. And I don't just want to be posting content just for the sake of posting content. So I just trust in the universe's timing and that what's for me is for me. And um, the things that I want will come to fruition. It's just going to have to be when the time is right. So I'm just kind of sitting back, relaxing, um, not stressing myself about shit and just enjoying being grateful um, for my circumstances in life right now. Cause I know that, you know, not everything's easy for everybody. Um, and I'm not saying that things are easy for me, but um, I just choose to be on my own time, do what I wanna do when I wanna do it. And the people that are meant to be there for that journey um, are gonna be there. And so I just don't hold on to who's in my life, who's not in my life, who's paying attention, who's not. I just don't care about that stuff. I just want to be myself um, and just move at my own pace. That's what makes me happy. I feel like when you start competing with everybody else, especially when you're not in a position to compete and be, um, I guess, at the top of your game, that's when you start feeling left behind and then you just burn out fast and get depressed because everybody else seems to be moving forward um, but you. So I think that's why it's important not to follow too many people online, especially people who, you know, just constantly show off everywhere that they're going and everything that they have. If you know that you can't be in a position to live that kind of life, just go at your own pace, uh, make progress one day at a time, and just don't beat yourself up if you are still in the same place that you were last year. Just be thankful that you're alive and healthy and you have another day to, you know, keep working towards what it is that you want to, to happen for yourself. You do have to move, but you don't have to move too fast, especially when you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You know, I'll be having a lot more freedom soon in a few more months to get, you know, get up and come and go as I please. I have things going on that I don't want to talk about. That's been another reason I've been quiet. And I'm also not a fan of people who come to social media with all of their drama, especially family drama. Some things you can talk about, but a lot of things um, need to just kind of be kept to yourself because it's true. The more shit you put out there about you, the more um, ammunition, I guess, the more stuff you give other people to constantly keep bringing up in your face and reminding you of certain times in your life that you might want to forget, especially once you're past those negative phases. So um, you know, if you have to keep your head down and be quiet about stuff until you can, you know, show everybody what it is that you want to show them and talk about, then do that. You know, there's nothing wrong with not posting that often to social media if your head and heart just aren't in it. And I beat myself up about that stuff a lot in the past, but not anymore. I just don't give a fuck. So if I want to share something, I will. And if I don't, then I just won't. I'm late to the game, but I decided to try roller sets. I've done two of them so far. I usually do them on a Thursday, which is my co-wash day, just as a way to straighten my hair and just kind of see what kind of looks I can do with it. Um, you know, it's gonna take a while for me to master this shit. You can see how crazy I'm looking right now, trying to wrap it around and do what the other girls are doing online, but it takes time and practice. It's just another way to keep your hair straight without flat ironing it all the time. One thing that's really important in your weight loss journey is not to give up your favorite foods, just have them in smaller portion. I am not giving up tacos or anything that has to do with sour cream and cheese. I'm just learning how to eat a lot less of it. I got my Pfizer booster shot and I just want to let y'all know this shit was a bitch. It hurt. I got all of the bad symptoms that go with it. I was down for 12 hours, felt like I had been in a car accident and a WWE match and it was not fun. I'm not saying this is going to happen to you, but just be prepared.
I am not somebody who likes to thrift at all. I do not like wearing used clothes, but I was inspired to come in here um, by someone that I do follow online who has made a career and following out of it just because I thought it would be something fun to do. And I am actually glad that I did. I found this beautiful dress. I probably will be stepping out in it this summer. It was only four damn dollars. It's the only thing I wanted in the whole store. Um, but I got home. I tried it on. I love how it looks on me. It's sequin. It's shiny. I wanted something that did not scream basic bitch and that fit the bill. I love shopping. I don't care if I'm buying clothes, food, flowers. It just makes me feel good to get something for myself that makes me happy. Obviously, that's how all women feel. But um, yeah, I'm just enjoying my time, taking care of myself, keeping myself in my element, um, thriving with the things that I love, and just trying to be happier and just improve my life one day at a time. Because that's all you can do, right? Hey, well, that was my Friday. I'm back home. I'm just going to clean my house, learn how to use my camera, edit some content, and um, later tonight it's nachos and dateline. That's what I do every Friday night. Just relax, watch murder mysteries, and um, enjoy my weekend. Let me know if y'all be watching dateline in 2020 because the shit people be out here doing is crazy.